Hi, so I had a few questions about Jeddah PCB, so I thought I'd do a quick video to go over them. And the first thing we're going to look at is how to rotate a component to an arbitrary angle. So I just start PCB Designer up, and I just pick a component. So we just go to the new library there, get this MSP chip, and pop it down. Just zoom in there. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is select the component we want to rotate, and you can cut it to the buffer using the menu, or you can use Control X. And once you've got the uh, component in the buffer, if you just uh, type colon on the keyboard, it will bring up a box there on the bottom left where you can enter a command and you type in free with a capital F rotate capital R and then buffer with a capital B and then in brackets just put the angle that you want to rotate to so I'm just going to rotate a tiny amount about 12 and you can even have uh, fractions so if I just put 0.5 in and enter and then it rotates the component and you can place it at the new angle So that was the first thing I was going to look at there. And the next thing I'm going to look at is squaring pads. So if you have a component, I just press I and bring up the component box there. If you have a component, um, oh, there isn't, oh no, it'll be, if I just find a regular dual inline package. And place it down, and you want one of the pads to be square, such as on this chip, to donate the first pin. You can just hover over a circular uh, pad and press Q, and it will change any pad you want into a square, or press Q to, to go back again. And if you wanted to just put a single one down, like a via, you can pop a via in. Uh, just make it bigger so we can see what we're doing. Uh, the only thing would be you have to select it and go to convert selection to element in the select menu. Click on the component. And it's now been converted into a pad, so it's on the pins and pads layer. And now you can use Q to swap between circular or square. And the next thing we're going to look at is ah, yes, thermals. So if I zoom into another space here and pop some vias down, and I'm just going to put like a ground plane in the background and zoom in a bit and if we just select this icon here, the therm and click on the via and it gives you a thermal type of via but you can also shift click and cycle through a few types of vias so you can have a, a one that's rotated 45 or you can have a, a one like that so it's that's rounded and also one like that at 45 and then back to no thermal view so it's a few different types there and again with these you can resize them and do what you need to and that's about it. So that, that's the different thermal vias you can do. And there's also another thing I wanted to show you which is uh, creating an outline. So there are certain layers that PCB Designer looks for. Uh, the component layer and the solder layer. So 
wherever you put your outline you've got to make sure it's not on these layers or on the silk layer or something like this but I'm probably just going to use this layer here which is signal 1 so if we just select this layer I can then go to edit and edit name of active layer and if you just call it outline with no capital letters then when you render to Gerber or if you uh, render to a, a, an image file like a PNG it will look at this uh, layer here and, and treat it as the outline and you can use various shapes or, or, or lines here so if I just make a funny shape here um, maybe pop in an arc as well um, something like this it doesn't really matter, it's just a demonstration so I can make it really strange if necessary And I just need to join the last part up there. I'll just use a regular line. There we go. It should be, yep. So on this layer here, you can see we've got an outline. And I'll just test it by uh, exporting the layout. Just do it as a PNG. Um, and actually I'll just save this first save the layout on desktop so I know where things are going and I'll export it yep and it's got the path of the desktop there use alpha so you can see the background and just click on this photo mode and OK. So it'll take a, a few seconds there to export. Sometimes it greys out the uh, the main window, but then as it fades back in, it's it's done. Um, I'm just waiting for this uh, smaller window here to vanish. It tells me that it's exported it. Taking a little while. It's probably because I made the outline such a weird shape. Mm, there we go. And I'll just close that down. And then on the desktop, test PNG, and you can see it's nicely outlined the board. A rather unusual shape. But there you go. So if anyone else uh, has any questions about uh, Jetta PCB or even the uh, schematic editor, just give me a shout and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you.